Stanford makes history in the women's game, becoming the first number one seed to win match play since the NCAA tournament moved to match play back in 2015. In Stanford's previous win, they were the fourth seed. So let's get out to Greyhawks, shall we? Uh, because our champions are standing by as we get a taste of the celebrations and send it out to Kira K. Dixon. <laughs> Our champions certainly are standing by. The Stanford Cardinals are national champions. Coach, I'm going to come to you first. Earlier in the week, we talked about a certain stat that is now broken that we never have to mention again after this moment, and that's that the number one seed coming in to match play has never walked away as national champions. What does it mean to you to have gotten this done? Well, for all the future teams that are the number one seed, you're welcome, because <laughs> that question was getting tiresome. But... Uh, <laughs> It feels great. I, we, we won in 2015 and it's been a long time. We've had great success, but it's really hard to get to this spot. And this group, the energy, the camaraderie, uh, this entire year, they've never picked their heads up and looked ahead. They just stayed one day at a time and that's how they got through this week. So couldn't be more proud. Um, I'm a little older this time around, so I'm going to take time to enjoy this one. You certainly should take time to enjoy it. And I'm sure someone else is going to take time to enjoy it is Aline, our senior. You're undefeated in match play. Aline, for, for this to happen in your senior year, you know, what are the emotions like? I mean, I, I would say um, I ended the year with a bang, or we ended the year with a bang. <laughs> um, and I'm super happy to walk away with um, this as my, as my key memory and as my last memory as a Stanford player, which is super sad. I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> You can let it out. <laughs> well, someone else who might be a little bit emotional is Brooke Say right behind you. Also undefeated. Brooke, uh, talk us through your week and just how special it is to be a part of this team. It's so special. I think all of us have been dreaming about this moment for a long time. And to come out here and just fight through every day. And all of us were fighting the whole time and through match play even more and just being there for each other. It's just awesome to be here with my team. And I'm just so grateful to be <laughs> be here right now now coach Maddie has also been here for you all week coach just talk us through getting through the the fatigue both mental and physical to get to this point and be able to wear these t-shirts absolutely it's a long week in the desert uh, but we took it step by step we made sure to take care of all the little things along the way and these girls are just so strong there was no quit in them um, it was fighting from day one to day seven or whatever it is now uh, we're just glad to be here and someone I know that's glad to be here is Sadie Sadie just describe what this moment means to you with what is a really really special group of young women and uh, women overall <laughs> I truly have no words I mean we were just talking we were in junior golf playing here at Thunderbird and we looked at the signs that said they were hosting the NCAA here in 2021 and 22. And I mean, now to be standing here as national champions at the same place, it's just unreal with my absolute favorite people in the world. It's, <laughs> it's truly amazing. And Caroline, what has this week been like for you getting to support this team and, and getting to, to just have these amazing women around you? Well, first of all, I lost my voice. Lots of screaming so, out there. I, I think I did a great job, but <laughs> I, I gave all I had this week, and I'm really happy that they did a great job. I'm so happy and proud of them. We worked so hard for this. Everyone on this team, even coaches, everyone. Even Coach Andrea, I'm looking at you right now. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us, and it's just amazing. I'm so happy. You gave everything you had, including your play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, pass the mic down to Rachel. Yep, Rachel. Rachel, you were here last year as the individual champion, and you didn't get to walk away with that national title, but now it's a bit of a different story. What does this moment mean to you? I'm, nothing compares to this. No individual win could ever compare to this feeling. These are my best friends, and since day one, this has been our goal. No one's really focused on themselves as an individual. We're focused on them this team and to be able to do this is unreal i just love these people so much <laughs> and i know someone that you love is rose the individual <laughs> champion and part of a national championship team rose you have put on an incredible performance this week both individually and with your team describe what this is like in this moment i can't believe it i mean like Rachel said, this tops any individual win. And I couldn't even think about the individual win that I had this earlier week. I mean, just being able to stand here with just all my best friends and the coaches that supported me, I can't believe that we're national champions now. And it's safe to say that this is the best moment of my life so far. <laughs> <laughs> 
national champions now and forever. And Rose, you earned something very special uh, earlier in the week. You earned an exemption into the LPGA Dana Open presented by Marathon. I'm, I'm crying too. I, I cry when people win. So that's, that's just uh, something that happens to me. But so that's a very exciting moment that you are going to get to experience later this year. But the national championship team also gets to award one exemption to a member of your team. And coach, you get to make that decision. So who is going to be joining Rose with an exemption into the LPGA Dana Open presented by Marathon? Uh, there's no one here deserves it more than our graduating senior who's gonna go pursue her LPGA career. And hopefully that'll be her first start of many starts on tour. Congratulations, Aline. I mean, what does a start on the LPGA mean to you? I'm not sure I can talk right now, but <laughs> it means the world, really. This Stanford has made me who I am today, and I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for this team. It's been a long ride this year, but um, we made it, and this is so great. I love you guys. Love you, you made it, and you made it as a team, and there's only one more thing to do to sign off and to end this with a bang. So you guys have been doing something all week and I want to hear it as loud as you've been doing it and the best one yet. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the trophy. <laughs> Let's go team. Come on. Card on three. One, two, three. Card! <laughs> Anna, I think that says it all. Back to you. <laughs>